Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the beautiful M2 Comp and we have one of the final M Performance aesthetic pieces going on the car. I know you guys are dying and clamoring for some performance parts, uh, but today is going to be one more aesthetic thing and then we're going to be moving on to some serious performance stuff for this car and I cannot wait. So let's get right into it. All right, folks. So today we have the last and performance aesthetic mods going on the car. These are the side winglets. Again, just like the last video, I did pick these up used from uh, from a fellow M2 owner who tracked the crap out of his car. Uh, but surprisingly, they're actually in good condition for somebody who's a track rat. So um, I'm pretty excited. We got the 3M tape on it. As you can see, and performance right there, all that good stuff. And uh, quite a few holes that we have to drill. And uh, yeah, we should probably just get, get right into business here. The car is up on the ramps. We've removed the front part. And we are pretty much good to go. The only thing that I find a bit confusing is the fact that those winglets are so short. I yeah. thought it'd be like a whole piece that would go all the way across, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, you were expecting like really, really long side skirts, huh? But yeah, big these time. are the M Performance ones. It's just the winglet that matches if you want to come check the, check this out. Right. It just matches the uh, the arrow and the downforce of, of this. So oh, I see, okay. Yeah. So it's real arrow. Yep. Gotcha. I didn't take it through a wind tunnel, but I'm trusting <laughs> that uh, the M division knows what they're doing. Right. Nurburgring tested and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure they got their numbers right. Cool. Okay. So we got ourselves a T30. We're underneath the car. There's three screws that we have to pull out. Uh, they're in the underside and we're reusing these. They're OEM and all that stuff. So here's the first one already gotten a little bit loose. Let me take this out. This is the furthest, uh, furthest one up on the front here. So alrighty. So here's the first one. That's what it looks like, pretty long. And then there's two more here on the back side that we gotta pull out. Now this is a relatively easy install. The only thing that's gonna hurt is uh, of course, making the drill holes into the uh, side body panel here. And there is the third one coming out now. A lot of dirt getting grime. Yeah, look at these clean wheels finally. Ooh. Relatively clean. Yeah. They're getting ceramic coated next week though. Very nice. All, All right. right, so there's the three bolts. Very nice. And uh, next up, we just kind of have to clean and prep the surface. Cool. So I'm just cleaning two things. I'm obviously cleaning where the screws go. Okay. Uh, the adhesive contact points, and then also where we're going to be drilling, which is right on the underside here on the white paint. So going to make it nice and, uh, and clean. Make sure it adheres very nicely and does not come off because I don't plan on ever taking this off. Okay. And I like how you use the white microfiber to clean the white paint. Of course, you gotta match. You gotta see the grime coming off, you know? Yeah, that's pretty dirty. So quick shout out, 400 horsepower club right here. Huh? Huh? And this is the only mod on the uh, Q60, right? Beautiful, tail light tint, nothing else. Stock, just the way we like it. Mine obviously stage two modded. Nestor's M2, still no mods, nothing, right? Race soon though. Yep, it's coming. With an easy, easy flash tune, I could get the M4 CS or the M2 CS thing on this, mm -hmm. and it would be like that's 40 horsepower, 50 torque, like right off the rip. Yeah. With that's no, true. that's not, that's no aggressive tune whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, that's if true. If I went like stage two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got two turbos. I mean, it wouldn't be fair. It two turbos. And single turbo. <laughs> yeah. The ease of modding this car is way, it's a lot, it's a lot less easy. Yeah, you got to crack the uh, the ECU, right? No, yeah, I got to crack the uh, DME. Oh, so the I gotta DME, go that's to, it. I got to actual shop and I have to pay for them to take it out, basically hack into it, unlock it. I'm also going to have to future proof it and make sure the crank hub doesn't spin. Oh. And crank hub is probably a three to $4,000 job. Nice. You can't really tune this car, especially if you're going stage one or stage two, yeah. without getting the crank hub done. I mean, you could do it, but it's risky business. You're basically yeah. on borrowed time. You are, you are. And uh, you know, if the crank hub goes, potentially something really big could happen. And you don't want that to happen, of course, especially on a new car like this. Yeah, it's 2020, a 2020, so. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't drill down the side winglets just yet, but I want to show you guys this angle from the front. It kind of shows you how uh, how the front winglets match the side winglets. It's really, really nice. And, uh, you know, of course, all the aero downforce, all that stuff kind of goes together.
Okay, so we've got these self tappers. We're not going super deep. And I really like these washers that we got at Home Depot actually. Uh, really solid, they're not gonna corrode. Plastic, it's soft on the carbon. You put it through like that, and that's how we're installing it. All right, guys, so it is on. We drilled the five self tappers in. We got the three OEM screws or the um, whatever you call them. The adhesive, it's looking real, real nice and aggressive. I absolutely love the fact that it matches the front lip now. So car is essentially done with carbon fiber, man. We have the front lip. We got the side winglets here. We got the spoiler for all the downforce, the carbon fiber diffuser. Time to take her down now and it's gonna sound horrific. Oh, sounds terrible. Is this like a 2000 year tractor or what is it? That's it for us. We got the final M Performance uh, carbon fiber piece on. I'm pretty happy. I think it looks really nice and aggressive. Matches the front, of course. It was just odd having that front winglet and having the carbon all on the back and then having nothing on the sides. I think it looks fantastic. Next up, we're gonna be doing something pretty serious to the car. No more fun and games here. Uh, we're gonna be doing a performance mod that, uh, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it. We're gonna, we're gonna make this car sound very, very different lower the weight on it and uh, and make it look good as well from the back end side so you guys can put two to two together and figure that one out so yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this one it was a quick simple install literally took us 45 minutes 50 minutes and uh went pretty smoothly so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed smash that like button subscribe for more content because we got a lot of nice stuff coming for this car and the s4 summer days are coming as well and we'll see you in the next one peace